Welcome to Far Steps and Parsimony. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make oven roasted tomato sauce using fresh tomatoes, fresh basil, and fresh garlic. So you're going to take your tomatoes and we're going to start by some of them, some of them you're going to want to core. I just pop them out like that. And this recipe is so easy because you just, that's all I do is I quarter them. If they're a little bit bigger, you're going to want to chop them a little smaller. Again, take the cores out. I am using Roma tomatoes, and you can tell these are different types of Roma's tomatoes. This was a big, a bigger Roma. This is a smaller Roma. Here's the difference between a Roma tomato, and this is a slicing tomato. And you can see, when I squeeze this, see all those seeds and all that juice? And when I squeeze a Roma tomato, there's very little juice. So these are going to cook up faster and lead to a thicker sauce. So I prefer using Roma's in this recipe. However, if you don't have them, I know you, I've had people use cherry tomatoes. They have used any tomato you have. So don't feel like you need to use the Romas. The Romas just lead to a thicker sauce. As soon as you finish chopping all your tomatoes, your 9 by 13 pan should look about this full. <clears throat> you need 12 cloves of garlic for this recipe. As you can see, I have more than 12 cloves of garlic, but because I grew this myself, I've got some really tiny ones and then I have some really big ones. So when I say 12 cloves of garlic, think store size, which is usually closer to this and this size. So this is about 12 cloves and the recipe isn't exact. If you like more garlic, add more. If you would like less, add less. Take your garlic that you've peeled. You don't need to chop it. You just need to peel it and you're just going to toss it right in with your tomatoes there. And then the next thing is your basil. Now you can use a combination of basil and oregano, just oregano, just basil. This year my oregano didn't grow, so I'm only using basil this year. You wanna make sure you remove the woody stems, kind of roughly chop it like this. Roll it a little and just paste. So I'm going to take this and just put that in here for now. Now I'm going to add a whole onion. And again, this is, does not need to be finely chopped. Just do, and just roughly chop this. This is not, not fancy. And throw it right in your 9 by 13 pan. Okay, so there's your sauce. Once you have everything in your pan, the last three things you're gonna add is one teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, I'm gonna cry, that onion is strong. If you have somebody that can wear contacts and cut your onion for you, it eliminates the tears. <laughs> this is two teaspoons of salt. Just pour it on. And lastly, you want to add a half a cup of olive oil. Take, give this a quick toss, move everything around. This pan's going to take approximately an hour and a half. Set okay. so the timer for 20 minutes and stir this in 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes and it's time to stir it. And notice the basil is starting to turn colors. That's all right. That's all part of this cooking process. See how the tomatoes have released a lot of that juice. Been cooking for a full hour. And you can see a lot of the juices, a lot of the juice is evaporating and it's just caramelizing. It's been one and a half hours since I started cooking this sauce and I think it's done. Yep, that's about how I like it. There's a little bit of juice in there, but it's not too much juice that is going to make it a really runny sauce. So now I'm going to pull it out of the oven and let it cool. And once it's cool, I'm going to blend it. After your sauce is fully cooked, you're going to want to let it cool for a little while. Blending hot sauce, it's going to splatter, it's going to make a mess. Now there's two ways you can blend it. You can use the traditional way, which is just your traditional blender, or you can use a stick blender. Take your sauce, this is sauce that I made earlier, and this is a double batch. If you want to, um, you can see how much it made. Probably, I'm going to say eight to 12 cups of sauce, and this was a double batch. Um, pour it into a fairly good sized pan. Okay, once your sauce 
is done, um, you probably want to take a little taste of it and see if there's anything you want to change or add to it. Fresh oven roasted tomato sauce and you can see how beautifully thick it is. For this recipe and more, please visit www.parsnipsandparsimony.com and you'll also find the print a printable version of this recipe. Thanks for watching.